Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Patrice and today we're starting out in my car because we are headed to the Racoma headquarters and they're having an open house today and they invited me to come and hang out with them for a little bit. So I'm inviting y'all to come hang out with us. So let's get started. Racoma is about maybe a good 35 minutes away from my house without any traffic. So we're just going to hop on the highway and get there. So this is not our first time at or going to the Racoma headquarter. I went a few years ago when I got my first embroidery machine, my first multi-needle embroidery machine. That machine was the, or is the, Racoma's EM1010. And it's a 10 needle machine. I absolutely love it. I love my machine. If you guys have been here for a while, you guys know that's Brody. Brody really taught me a lot about how to use multi-needle embroidery machines. It is a single head machine. It's their smallest multi-needle embroidery machine in their inventory. And it's really beginner friendly. Now when I say beginner friendly, that does mean like if you've had some other embroidery experience in the past. Okay, so you kind of understand a lot of different things. Now if you're willing to put in the time to learn it, you can absolutely learn it. That was my very first multi-needle machine and there were some bumps in the road, but I was able to overcome it and learn it. I've taken Brody apart, I've put Brody back together again, and that's just because I was able to research. But another good thing is, is that Wacoma has a very, very good uh, customer support line where they will FaceTime with you and they will help troubleshoot whatever problems that you're having. So I really do like that about uh, Wacoma because I have had to call them a few times to to help me out. So let's get ready and just see, like I'm just headed there, we're going to see what, um, what new things they may have, what this open house is about. It's from 11 to 5. I don't anticipate staying there all day um, because I do have a lot of other things that I need to do. And I also have crafts and combos tonight and I don't want to, to cancel it. So we'll go there, soak up whatever information we can get and we will head back home. So we are here at the Racoma headquarters and we're about to go inside so we can see what the open house event is about. So once you check in, you're going to get a goodie bag and also that hat and then you're going to head into the showroom and they have several of their technicians here on the showroom to answer questions, to show the machines up close and personal. I love this machine. It's an embroidery machine plus a Chanel machine and y'all, when I get the space, I'm going to definitely have to invest in that machine, but they have multiple of their embroidery machines. They have quite a few of their multi head machines. So this is the dual head or the two head machine and then right next to it was the four head machine and the technicians are just working on it making sure everything goes good also they are introducing a new DTF printer this is a 13 inch printer they also have another 13 inch printer but I am going to interview Jabril and he'll let us know more about their DTF printers 
All right, y'all. So we are in the thick of things, and we're looking at all of these machines. And we have Jabril here to help us understand a little bit more about the different DTF machines that Wacoma has. Congratulations, everyone. My name is Jabril. I work here as a trainer for uh, Wacoma International. Um, and so we're going to talk real quick about the different DTF machines. Um, so over here we have our Rebel DTF 2402T printer. This is going to be our largest, so our widest range of uh, um, you know the paper size so you can as far as every other machine goes with the different varying sizes of paper you can use this machine with it but by default it uses the 24 inch wide paper um, and of course it comes with the printer itself back there and the all-in-one oven shaker system which applies the piece of powder heats it up cools it off yeah nice um, this is our DTF Rebel 1202T uh, machine, and this is the 12-inch wide paper. Um, its production speed is comparable to the 24. It's almost identical. Okay. Um, you, can, you can pump out as many jobs as this one can, but just this has a narrower space. Okay. Um, the cool thing about this, with regards to all three machines, is that this is the only one that is one solid unit. Okay. So if you want, as far as ease of movement and everything goes, this is going to be the best one. Okay. Because for the other two, the printer and the oven are separate pieces of machinery. Whereas for this, everything is just one machine. It's all one. If wow. I, if I push this to the side, everything moves. Okay. Okay. Um, and so that's the cool thing about this machine. Here we have the DTF Rebel Air. Now this is going to be um, coming soon. Of course, it's not this yet, um, but it's coming soon. So this is basically uh, the small version of the 2402T okay. with the paper size of the 1202T. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, the only real thing, real difference between this aside from the size is that the printer itself moves a little bit slower. Okay. Which by itself is not a huge issue. It's not because the quality it does it does that to maintain the quality of the print uh, with the different printing, and so uh, it does move a little bit slower. But ultimately, the whole process is automated. It okay. does get printed. It does get have the powder you know applied to it. It does get cooked in the oven, and it does end up ultimately on the end of the roll, just like every other machine. Okay. Also, it has the added benefit of being almost half the weight. Yes. And half the size. So if somebody wants to use this at home, they could put it in their garage. Yes. If you were like me and you don't have a, a, a necessarily a business and you just like putting cool stuff in your clothes, this is the one you want. If okay. it were me, if you were asking me which one would I get, it'll this be this one. Because small, I like it. Yes. I remember the first time they showed me this actually. They walked me into a room kind of like this. Uh, because at that point, I was already used to those two. Okay, right? the big one. And so they said, oh, yeah, there's the Rebel Air. And I'm like, okay, what's that? And so they, they walked me into the room to show me. I said, oh, where is it? And they were like, it's right next to you. I'm like, oh. Oh, it's right here. Oh. oh. <laughs> and so then I was able to take in the grandeur of the game. Yes. So this is actually going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to you know, deliver the trainings for this. Um, I like this. So for, as far as setup is concerned. Yes. Do you all come out and assist with setting up the machines, or how does that work? So that'd be really cool. Uh, problem is, we have a very large uh, base of clients, and so uh, that'd be a little difficult. So to here's do that. what I did instead. Um, we have a comprehensive online training course, basically. Okay. Um, but but before you do that, there's the pre-training course. And the pre-training course is a bunch of videos that will tell you how to put each individual part onto the Together. machine as it needs to be. Okay. Uh, the reason I know that is because I made them, and so you'll be hearing my voice if you watch. Okay. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Very good information. Absolutely. Very well. Next, I hooked up with Brianna, and we went into another showroom. See, this is so... How long does it take to digitize something like this? That right there? Uh, you know, it, 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 wait, wait. that one took maybe two, two hours, two, two and a half hours. To get this done. Yeah, but that one's hard because, like, see how everything's, like, double? So you just do it. Yeah. You copy and it, it. reverse it, and boop, you know, and change the color. Okay. So it's faster, you know. But, like, that tiger over there, see, that's it. That's it, you know. 
I'm still, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna be I started using promo three years ago. I never even knew this existed. I thought- You uh, just started, but you love it. You love it. Yeah, but I have, a, I have a background in, in, I'm a graphic designer, so I have a background in software. Okay. I'm an illustrator in natural I work, I grew up my life, so I picked it up quick, you know? And I, I love embroidery, I think it's good. Yes. And that one, for instance, took an entire day. I, 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 I clocked in here at, at 8.30 in the morning. How much started. zooming in to get like all the points and everything? Of the fur, oh my goodness! On screen, that looks so good. It, it's, 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 again, since I have an illustration background, this is patches of light embroidery. I'll show you. So Roberto gave me a quick tutorial on how he did this, and y'all, it is really amazing. Everything is done by sequence or layers because he's generally used to graphic designing and Illustrator, and so he was just showing me what just using different stitch and different stitch lengths and then changing the colors, what all that will do to create a design like this. So this was amazing. Next, I headed over to some other new merch that they have. They also have Glitter HTV, Puff HTV, and also regular HTV that they're launching and I cannot wait to use this. I think that this good is great. This event is great for everyone because even if you have Wacoma products, you can come here and still get some some help with things that you may need help, especially like Chroma. But this is awesome. They also showcased their cutter. They've had this cutter for a while. It is not new. They showcased their cutter. And one of my favorite parts of the entire event was this build your own shirt bar type of setup. And they had patches there. They had DTG, DTF prints. And then they also had shirts that you could use as well. Like you just go pick your shirt and then you pick whatever you wanted to put on your shirt. I thought that was really cool. They also added even more patches over there as well. So I loved it. This is also um, more machines that they have out. Here is the EM1010 the very first machine I started with and y'all that looks amazing amazing here's some other things they did and this is just a showcase of a jean jacket with like airbrush effect on it but embroidery like amazing so here are some other things that you could do with your machines they have a few artifacts or samples out like with the cards you can embroider on cards I just thought that this was really really a good event for anyone who may be in the market or anyone else who has purchased anything from Coma and they can come and talk to them and get help but y'all look how far this has gone our chanel project was well, not ours but i cannot wait to get one of these for now as suggested by carl i am just going to stick to the chanel hack go so i think the industry is fitted in i can't remember what i'm gonna say now <laughs> I think that the industry now you have more people who are engaged, more educated in what it is that they're doing, what they're printing out, quality projects, bloopers. <laughs> We're gonna stop you together now. Yes. Landscape? Or no, should, we, should we say something? Um, so, I'm here with Brianna, my favorite person at Wacoma. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're awkward. We don't know what to say. We don't even know what to say. We are so happy to be together again. Yes. And we get to hang out again at Deco Summit. We do. And that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Yes. <laughs> she's, gonna, <laughs> she's gonna be in full work mode, though. She's gonna be, she's gonna be in full you know. work mode. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> <laughs> the first day of the industry, is that more people are getting more educated and knowledgeable of the different methods and processes. I think this is going to make more quality products, especially for people who are doing business out of their homes. I see a lot of home-based crafting business owners producing material and products that look like you're getting it out of the store. I chose to come here to Open House today to see everything that Google has. And I was not disappointed. There's so many different new things being pushed out, and I cannot wait to be able to use those items and to share them with my viewers. What have you learned so far? 
so far, I thought that I knew a lot about digitizing until I met Roberto. And you know, Roberto really, really helped me understand a few other things inside the promo. In addition, there is going to be some puff vinyl that I can't wait to use, glitter vinyl that I can't wait to use, and there's a special surprise that's coming out for our home based businesses to print. And I cannot wait for everybody to see that. What do you think of the new machines and technology showcase here? As usual, Coleman has really good looking machines. Everything looks good, it's compact so that it can be able to fit into your space. So I think that with the new machines that Coleman has, they really thought about their clientele, potential clientele, to make sure that they provide machines for anyone who may want them. After that hot mess of an interview, I headed over just to grab a quick snack and it looks like they have a spread from Publix that anyone who attended the event were welcome to. After that, I headed home. All right, y'all. So I'm leaving from Wacoma and this event was actually really, really good. Um, if you are looking to get into embroidery and you're interested in a Wacoma machine, whether it's embroidery, DTF, white toner, DTG. They had so many people on their staff who was helping and just sharing all the knowledge that they have, even as far as like hooping, stabilizers, all sorts of, of different things. So I'm super happy that I came to the event today. I'm really, really happy that I came to this event. I always love attending the Wacoma events. I always have a good experience with Wacoma, whether it's this event, Deco Summit, and or any of the trainings um, that I've come to here. I've always had a good experience with them. And honestly, you can never know your machines too much. So there are several different things that I learned. I also got some good suggestions for different projects that Delanda and I can make during so good so it was absolutely worth me being here there's still people coming in to this open house and so hopefully they'll continue to do it hopefully this is something that they will continue to open up to the local market um and maybe they'll just have other people who plan to be here during these events so that they can kind of get an idea Purchasing any of these machines is a big investment for your business or even if you're just doing it as a hobbyist, then you definitely want to to come to these sorts of events. I'm just watching more people go in um, and now you didn't have to come super early, but the event lasts all day, 11 to 5.